Hi, this is Mary Bush from Stampin' in the Sand. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're creating our second card in the Open Sea card class to go. This is our Celebrate card. Believe it or not, it uses every single image in the Open Sea stamp set. So we're going to be stamping every single one of these images. The Open Sea stamp set was included in the class to go, so those that purchased my class to go did receive this stamp set in the mail. If you don't currently own this stamp set, you can purchase it in my online store, and I have all of the details on not only the stamp set, but the materials that we've used to create these cards posted in my blog, and you can find the direct link in the description right below this YouTube video. So let's get started making card number two. What you're going to do is you're going to bring in your crumb cake layer from your card class to go kit. It contains all of the materials that you need to create this card. Starting with a crumb cake base layer. This is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. You will be scoring it at four and a quarter to make your card. Of course, before I sat down to create this video, I did not score my own card, so I'm just going to come in with my bone folder and give it a quick fold. So now I have my card base. The next layer is in early espresso that forms the frame around our crumb cake layer here. Then you have your crumb cake layer and you have all of your scraps for stamping. So to get started with our stamping, I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper here. I'm also going to bring in my ledger stamp set, or stamp rather, from the stamp set. I've already got it mounted on my block. And I'm going to bring in my crumb cake ink. All right, so we need to ink up our image in the crumb cake and I'm just going to be randomly stamping that on my crumb cake layer to make my own background paper so to speak just going to randomly stamp doesn't have to be perfect because there's not going to be a lot of it showing by the time we're done but it just gives it a little extra element to have it there all right so we can remove that okay now we're done with that piece so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in your scraps So we're going to come in again with that ledger image, except this time we're going to bring in our early espresso ink pad. And we're going to be inking up our ledger with the early espresso. And we're just going to stamp it down here on our scrap. And forgive me, I need to... Okay, so now it's stamped on our scrap, and we can put that aside again. Put that aside to dry. Then we're going to come in with our crumb cake scrap and come back with our early espresso ink. We're going to ink up our globe image. And stamp that down. And then we're going to come in with our little anchor. And stamp that as well. Then we're going to bring in our little very vanilla square. And we're going to ink up our ship. Ink 
and we're going to stamp that. So now we have our images stamped. So now you have a decision you can make. You can stamp your greeting in your crumb cake, or you can stamp it in your early espresso, or you can do what I've done here, and I stamped it in Versamark, and then I used some gold embossing powder to just give it a little extra um, color there and a little bit of shine. I'm just going to take my little scrap here and I'm going to choose another sentiment, if I can get the stamp set open, from the And Many More stamp set. I'm going to choose this Happiness Always right here. And I'm going to ink that up in Crumb Cake. And I'm going to stamp that down on my scrap. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to do some fussy cutting. And I'm going to do that off camera for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me. You're going to take your paper snips and you're going to fussy cut out your ship like I've done here. So your ship is, is just cut out just the image. We're also going to fussy cut the anchor from here. Then we're going to take our two inch circle punch and punch out our globe. There. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how you are going to age your journal here and we'll put our card together and finish off our card. So I'll be back to you in just a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back. I sure did give my fingers and my paper snips a workout. So I already have cut out the globe image that you saw me punch. Then I have fussy cut out my little anchor and I fussy cut out my ship. I also took my little happiness awaits on my scrap and I cut it out with my Big Shot and my Bitty Banners Framelits dies. But you don't have to have the Framelits dies. You can easily take your snips and snip yourself a nice little flagged edge. You can come in with your um, triple banner punch and punch out some nice flagged ends. Or you can forgo the little flag and use any other punch that you have on hand. Next, we're gonna come back in with our very vanilla piece that we stamped with the ledger, and we're gonna do some tearing. And all I'm going to do is tear myself a border. Okay, so here we've torn our edges. Then I'm just gonna come in with my finger and kind of flick at it. Kind of loosen it up a little bit. Then I'm going to come in with my early espresso ink pad. And I have some Stampin' Sponge here that's already earmarked for my early espresso. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to grunge this up a little bit. Okay, so now we can start assembling our card. We'll just clean up our area here. And I'm done with the snips. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my panel that I stamped my ledger on and use my liquid glue. And attach that to my early espresso. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use liquid glue again on my ledger. 
I'm going to come in with some dimensionals and attach my globe. And my ship. Come in with a little glow. So I can tuck my little anchor underneath. Okay. Then I need to come in with my compass. And we're just gonna stamp that in the upper right hand corner. And that's in the early espresso. Okay, then all I have to do is come in, ah, if I can pick it up, is come in with my happiness awaits. I'm going to give them a little bit of a curl. Like so. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue. If I can get it out. Just a little dot of glue on the flat sections. Oh, we're going to lose power. Let's see if I can get this video finished before we lose power completely. And I'm just going to tuck that underneath my ledger and see how that holds that nice curl. We have to attach this panel to the front of our card. So anyways, we're going to come in now and we're going to get this lined up onto the front of our card. And now our card is complete. So thank you very much for joining me today for our card. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry about the power outage or power flicker and my trying to rush it at the end. Um, all the details and supplies can be found on my blog. The link is posted in the description of this YouTube video below. If you have not purchased my card class to go, The Open Sea. You can find details for that on my blog as well. There's a link. And I look forward to stamping with you again real soon. Stay tuned. Card number three is on its way. Have a great day. Bye!